you guys and welcome to another one of our Monday Munchkin um, times together. I want to start today by reading a verse to you from Isaiah 41 um, verse 10 and it says, Fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All right, so our whole thing that we're going to be talking about today is about how we don't have to be scared and we don't have to fear because God is greater than any fear or anything that we're scared about. He's bigger and he's greater than anything. So I have five things today that are going to help you remember exactly how big and how strong our God is for us, okay? So first, I want you guys to think of something that you might be scared of or that you might be fearful of. So I'm going to give you guys a second and I'm going to think too and I'm going to come up with a couple examples. So I want to give you guys just a second to think and this is something afterwards if you want to draw a picture of it or something you may do that um, but since we're not together that would be something we would do at church but you guys can do that at home if you would like. Um, so hopefully you thought of something that you're scared of. Um, I'm going to give you two examples. One is an example from when I was a kid and one is an example for me right now. Um, so when I was a kid, I always got really, really nervous when it was storming outside. I used to, we lived in a big house and I would be upstairs and we had all these big trees and it just made me very nervous. I could hear them blowing around and I, I had trouble sleeping and I was just always really, really scared whenever it was storming. Um, and now as an adult, storms don't scare me as much as they used to. But one of the things that makes me nervous now as an adult and gives me fear and makes me scared is sometimes, especially when I'm driving with my kids in the car or my family and the weather's not very nice or it's icy on the roads, I get really scared and I get really fearful and afraid that something bad is going to happen. Okay? So there's five things today I want you guys to remember. The first, and there's an action that goes with all of them, okay, to help you remember. The first is that God tells us not to be afraid because he's with us all the time. So I want you guys to take your hands and I want you to clasp them together, okay? So here's you and here's God and he is always with us, okay? He is with us all the time, okay? Even when we don't think he is, he is watching over us and he's with us and he's taking care of us all the time. So our hands clasp together. If you try to pull them apart, you feel how tight that is, right? That's like God, okay? He never leaves us and he is always with us. The second thing, is that we do not need to be afraid because God is our God, right? He can take care of us and he will take care of us because he's our God. So what I want you to do is take your arms and I want you to give, give yourself a hug, okay? So I want you to hug yourself and remember that God is with us all the time and he is our God and he loves us, okay? So number three, God says that we don't have to be afraid because he's going to strengthen us. He gives us all of our strength. So this time you're going to make your muscles, okay? You're going to make your muscles. You feel those muscles in your arms, right? You're going to flex and it's going to help you remember that God gives you strength. So when you flex those muscles and you feel those muscles, God gives you strength even when you're scared, okay? Number four, it says that we don't have to be troubled because he will always be there to help us, right? So have you ever seen a kid fall on the floor or maybe a brother or a sister and you helped them get up? So you reach down and you grab their hand and you pull them up and you help them stand up, right? So God is always there to help us. He is always there to give us that support and help us get back up or help us feel not afraid or stronger, right? Because he's always there to help us. Okay, number five, it says that we don't have to be afraid because he has the power to save us and protect us all, okay? So this time you're going to hold your right hand up and you're going to put it out, okay? And you're going to say, God will protect me, okay? And when you do that, do you see how you have those five fingers? That's the last one and you see all five things? That's going to help you remember this one, right? That God's always with us. The hug where God loves us and he's, he's our God and he's always there. Then you got your muscles, your, your biceps, and your strength. It helps us remember that God gives us our strength, right? Then, number four, was he's always there to help us, and we help people get up, right? We help them just like God helps us. And number five, it's like step, right? Because God is always going to be there to protect us no matter what. So now I want you guys to think back 
to the example that you had in your mind about something that makes you scared or makes you worried, okay? Now, and if I think about right now, when I get scared when I'm driving, when it's maybe not the best weather, right? It gives me, I have to remember that God is with me even through those times when I'm nervous. He's always my God. He's going to give me the strength to get through that situation. He's going to protect me, right? And he's always going to be there to help me, okay? So those five things should be always in our minds when we're having times of trouble, having times where we're scared, or times where we're being fearful because God doesn't want us to feel that way. He wants us to know that he is with us all the time, helping us, being our God, giving us strength, caring for us, loving us, and protecting us. All right, I will see you guys again next week.